What were your thoughts taking over at center? I know you took snaps in, in camp, but Mike's obviously a big part of the offensive yeah. line. Uh, yeah, Mike's a great part of the offensive line. Obviously, it hurts to lose him. Just communication, just you know, all-around player. Uh, but we have a next guy man up mentality. Every week I work on center snaps, uh, work on center plays. So, you know, I was prepared for it. I just tried to go in there, do the best job I could, you know, obviously. Or describe the mood in the locker room at the beginning? Uh, I mean, you know, everyone worked really hard. Um, battled. Um, obviously, it's not the result we wanted, so there's a little bit of frustration, but ultimately, we you know, just got to keep your head high and move on to the next one. Come up in five weeks, give some time to, you know, prepare and get ready for, you know, for the city. So uh, just keep our heads up. A loss, a big loss, could have really derailed the season. Do you feel like going into the bye week with a competitive loss on the road to a tough team can kind of get you guys back on track when you get a little healthier? I mean, yeah, any loss is, it sucks. Um, but we did show a lot of promise in that game. We battled, like I said. Uh, just continue, we continue to work on execution. Um, that's something we'll, you know, harp on in the bye week is execution. So, uh, you know, there's some good things to, to build off of uh, to, to get to that question. So, yeah. How much did the noise in the stadium affect the silent count that the offensive line? I mean, obviously the crack count is not ideal. That's what we call our um, you know, silent count. Um, but we practiced it. We ran it. You know, we did it at UW. We did it at Ole Miss. So, you know, we were ready for it. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's, it, it's hard. There's a few false starts. But, um, you know, we got to be better than that. With the motion that Oregon puts up front, how much, how much is it on you to communicate their assignments as they, as they make their shifts? Yeah, it's tough. Those, those shifts do make it tough. Um, it is on me to make those uh, you know, those calls, and I missed a few of them today. I wish I could have that. But, um, you know, as we go forward, you know, more teams are going to do that. So we just continue to work on it, um, work on the communication, and, uh, you know, we'll get it right. Anybody else? Matthew? Okay, we'll have a couple more guys.